And now for question number 17 from the February March 2020 paper. A is a point 0.35 and B is a point 0.1 minus 7. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to AB that passes through A. Give your answer in the form y equals mx plus c. So we got to find the equation of a straight line. To find the equation of a straight line, we need two pieces of information. The first piece of information we need is the gradient. We need to know what the gradient of the line is. And the second piece of information we need is any point that lies on the line. And they told us that the point A is what the line passes through. So we can say that it passes through the point 3, 5. So now our objective is, fi is to find the gradient of the line which is perpendicular to AB. So let's first find the gradient of the line AB. The gradient of the line AB is the change in Y. So it's 5 minus minus 7. 5 minus minus 7 divided by the change in x, which is 3 minus 1. That gives you 5 plus 7, which is 12, over 3 minus 1, which is 2, which is 6. So the gradient of the line AB is 6. So the gradient of the line that we need, the gradient of the line which is perpendicular to AB, now is going to be the negative reciprocal. The negative reciprocal of a line, of the gradient of a line, will give you the gradient of the line perpendicular to the line. So this is like 6 over 1. 6 over 1. So if you were to write down the reciprocal, you'll get 1 over 6, and then you've got to change its sign. So the gradient of the line that we need is negative 1 over 6. So now we can work out the equations of the line. There's two different methods to use. I'll show you the way that I like first. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus min minus 5, okay, y minus 5, this is the y1, equals m, which is minus 1 sixth, times x minus 3. All right, so what we can do now is, we want it in the form y equals mx plus c, so we can say y minus 5 is equal to minus 1 sixth x, and this is going to give you plus a half, so y is equal to, minus one sixth x i'm going to have plus a half plus five which is going to be plus 10 over two so you're left with y equals minus one over six x plus 11 over two and there's your answer here surrounded with all these working but that's your answer minus one over six x plus 11 over two alternatively we could use y equals mx plus c and then we could say, okay, this is y, this is x, and this is m. So 5 equals m, which is minus 1, 6 times x, which is 3 plus c. So c is going to be 5 plus, or 5 plus a half, basically, right? This is going to be minus a half. So you have 5 plus a half is equal to c. So that means c is equal to, that's 11, 10 over 2 plus 1 over 2, which is 11 over 2 which gives us the same answer. So the answer will be y equals minus 1 over 6x plus 11 over 2. Of course, we get the same answer. It's just two different ways of doing it. Pretty simple. The things you need to know is that the line that's perpendicular to another line has a gradient, which is its negative reciprocal. And to find the equation of the line, we need the gradient of that line, and we need a point that that line passes through. And we can find its equation. And there we have the answer to question number 17. Thank you for watching. Questions on this paper will be found in the playlist showing over here. Questions on the topic of straight line graphs will be found in this, in this playlist. Um, you'll be able to click on the icon on the top, the I sign on the top, and it will take you to the playlist for the paper for once it's done. And click on the icon here will take you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.